Welcome to the House of Sparky.com. I'm Bailey O'Carroll alongside Kaylin Jones, co editor and ASU football expert. Kaylin, ASU is coming off of a bye week, but they have, uh, they're going to face Utah this week. They use that bye week to kind of rest up and heal up. They've had a lot of injuries. And then as they head into the rest of the season, they've got a tough schedule. How do you think that bye week is going to be? I think it's definitely going to help him. Maybe. When Todd Graham, at least during the week, said that he expects to have five of his ten injured players from last week, obviously losing 10, 11, up to 11 starters at one point this year, to have five of them back going up against Utah. So I think that's definitely going to be a significant addition. When we talk about having Manny Wilkins back, Kareem Orr and Armand Perry in the secondary especially, I think those three in particular are going to help out this AHU offensive unit. I, I think the, the real injury to keep an eye on is Tim White, whether or not he's able to play in this final game, which would be his final home game as a Sun Devil. Uh, he's been dealing with injuries all week, has really been participating. Uh, I believe Todd Graham's like he expects him to play, but uh, that's something to keep an eye on whether or not he's limited to just kick off and cut return of duty in terms of letting him uh, be a contributor offensively. I think that's something to watch. But aside from that, I think when you get Tamara Richard back, Manny Wilkins, Kareem Moore, and Perry, those four in particular give ASU a significant shot at defeating the number 13 team in the country. And then if the Devils do drop this one, that's five straight losses. How does that uh, make Todd Graham's future look at ASU? Well, I mean, all things considered, Bailey, I know a lot of fans are upset with the fact that the Sun Devils, have, you know, started off 5-1, and one, you're looking like a legitimate team, but then they hit a bunch of injuries. Out there. They've been on the third and fourth string players, players you weren't expecting to be elevated into the lineup, have been forced to play. So I think all things considered, you have to say that Todd Graham has done a decent job. Maybe not the best, and we definitely could expect to see better, but with these units and with these players that he's been forced to play, they've been competitive. If he had his starters, I mean, the, the Sun Devils could very well be already bowl eligible, if not competing for the Pac-12 title. So I, I think that you just have to be a little bit patient with ASU fans. I, obviously, going into the year, you weren't expected to be well, or at least a decent team in the first place. So in the sense, you overachieved, but you're kind of where you are, back where you, you, you were expected to be if you're an ASU Sun Devil fan, uh, looking at the results. And then going into this Utah game, who do you think needs to have a big game for ASU to come well, offensively, it's definitely going to be Manny Wilkins. Whether or not he's healthy or not, I think that's going to be huge. What uh, Utah is able to do, at least in terms of schematics, uh, they do a lot of very stuff. Team. They're not necessarily aggressive, but I expect ASU's offense, at least the triple options that we've seen again between Gail Balazs, Lamar Richard, and, and Manny Wilkins, I expect it to be a real big focal point going into this week. Utah's defense is very good at creating turnovers. If Manny Wilkins can, you know, hit come play in the pocket, create plays with his legs, and, you know, distribute the ball well, I expect ASU to be able to move the ball against one of the better defenses. And can we get a prediction here? Do you think Oh, man, on the spot. I'll take ASU in a surprise, weird Thursday night victory. And it'll be like 33 to 32. All right. Well, there you have it. Be sure to tune in on Thursday night, not Saturday, Thursday night. To houseofsparky.com for all of your game day coverage. For Kaylin Jones, I'm Bailey O'Farrell. Thanks for watching.